Monday morning about a quarter after six and a little chilly in New York. Frankie Boy doesn't have heat in his car, so he has to bundle up. And that brings us to, uh, I guess the overarching point today is, uh, financially speaking, on Frankie's strange meat, uh, things aren't looking too well, which has kind of discouraged me and prevented me from, I guess, achieving what I've wanted to do. And as much, you know, I come in here every day, I look at things, I see, you know, how far we've come, even as little as, you know, products like Nature's Glucose, you know, the labels I designed myself for the tallows and the lard and all that type of stuff, you know, where we've started. I, I keep that stuff in mind. I try to focus on how far I've come in just the past two years and that, you know, just keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep trying to get to that end goal of providing people with as much high quality food as possible. But when you look at the bank account every day and it's even, it's very disheartening. And I didn't do this to make money, but I do understand that if I'm not making money, I cannot expand the business. I cannot provide people with those high quality animal as well as plant foods, which we've been adding recently. That being said, I'm confident the products I'm offering are better than, I mean, <laughs> please guys, like butcher box, it's not even close, but I still feel like I need to get to the point that no one else has gotten to you know, we need to have our own slaughterhouse, our own operation, our own full kitchen, do more value added products, charcuterie, uh, the dairy and the eggs, the farm stuff. I want all of that to happen, you know, within a reasonable period of time. Because, guys, I mean, guys, I'm, I'm almost 30 years old. You know, if I can't get this stuff done, then I don't think anyone can. And at some point, you know, things just have to kind of give way because. Uh, honestly, I've been killing myself. I've spent every waking moment of my life for the past few years doing things I don't want to do. And, you know, when I'm kind of miserable in my personal life and my business life, I just don't know how much longer I can push through this. But as I said, I'm trying to stay positive. I'm trying to focus on how far I've come. And I'm trying to, you know, just get through these things. And, uh, you know, I do have an accountant looking at the books. This might have to get another account because they're taking way too long to figure it out. But uh, point is, I'm going to plug along and uh, I'm going to get to that end goal, uh, whether it's now or whether it's three years from now. So I'm just getting some stuff ready for the foods orders. Uh, we got some Nature's Glucose here in bubble wrap. Um, new labels came in. We had four ounces instead of five ounces. Box of labels is over there. You know, had to Wagyu, ran out of labels. Beef tallow ran out of labels. Uh, we got plenty of Iberico pork lard hanging around, uh, but I'm just kind of bubble wrapping these up so they're ready for the 20 or so orders. And then I just put, you know, the whey protein and the best bars in, and then that's it. So we're going to pack up about 22 or so Frankie Strange Foods orders. Then I got to fill uh, some orders for organ supplements. So I'm going to do that. Uh, probably take me about an hour or two, and then uh, I can talk to you guys about uh, the farm, the Amish stuff, the dairy, the eggs, and how that's going. I mean, yeah, from a business perspective, obviously no one wants to say they're not doing so well, just you know, from any commonsensical standpoint. But you know, since you guys are the reason Frankie's Surrey Range Meat is able to function, and you guys have supported me these past two years, I, you know, I feel a responsibility to tell you guys the truth and let you guys know what's going on. And that financial situation, you know, figuring out what's going on with the books and all that type of stuff is kind of the answer to why none of this other stuff has been happening. You know, getting a loan for the slaughterhouse, working with these Amish farmers, possibly getting a farm ourselves. You know, it, there's priorities and, you know, you have to walk before you can run. And that's a big part of the reason I haven't been vlogging Cranky Syringe Meat for the past few weeks. You know, I was hoping to have some more positive news. Uh, but you guys have been asking me, you know, what's up with the farm, what's up with Frankie's range Mead, you getting raw dairy anytime soon, all that type of stuff. So uh, we're just wrapping up the Oregon supplements orders now. We did the Frankie's range foods orders. Uh, so I'll show you guys how many. So the guys have been working for about an hour. So we have, you know, quite a few Frankie's meat orders ready. Uh, these are all the stuff I did for naturals, Wi-Fi shielding, Oregon supplements. I don't know. Maybe we got 50 packages total. Uh, split between the post office as well as some UPS on top. Got the guys working right now. Adam's here, it's about 
I was just giving them an update that like we're kind of breaking even and stuff. So I was telling them like the farm stuff and the slaughterhouse and the dairy and the eggs is kind of on the back burner for a little bit because obviously we don't want to just do more work and just keep breaking even basically, especially with the Amish people. Like the, the raw dairy, oh, the yeah, yeah. farm, the slaughterhouse, that type of stuff. That's true. Yeah, we should get the farm or slaughterhouse first before. Working with these Amish people. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely a priority. You mean the farm for to do it ourselves instead of working with them? Exactly. Yeah. Or it just it doesn't make sense. The, the Amish relationship will be us doing a whole bunch more labor. We're already doing so much work, so. And, and it won't really bring us any more profit. Yeah, because we're just, the Amish want so much money for the product that we're basically just going to be boxing it up for free, shipping it out, and then making us very small margin on the product. The hope would be that it would bring in a lot more customers. But if that doesn't happen, then we dig a big ass hole that we can't get out of, basically. Yeah, it would stretch us thin. What worst case scenario is, instead of getting more customers, we don't get more customers and people order dairy instead of meat and then yeah. that would be a nightmare. You would just be paying UPS to carry heavy boxes. Yeah, of mil of mi the, mil the milk's heavy, heavy yeah. Milk is, yeah, all stuff's heavy. This week we're doing uh, just the Wagyu now, right? We didn't really push too much last week, but this week we'll do the Wagyu sirloin steaks. We got sirloin, yeah. we got the strip loin, whole roast, and we have the ground beef and the like Yeah, we have the bone in, the bone out strip loin. Yep. And we can do the Wagyu sirloin steak for only five fifty per steak. Yep. So if you guys want to try Wagyu for basically $5 for a small steak, it's, it's a great deal. Yeah. How much were we selling the regular sirloin steaks for, like $4 or $3.50? The, the, yeah, the regular? There was only yeah. four ounces, five ounces. But yeah. yeah. So, so no, this is a, you're not going to get a better deal than this. Cooked one up last night for my boy. He didn't want that fish. You, you can, because it's only five ounces, you take it right out of the freezer, you throw it directly in the pan. By the time you sear both sides, it's still medium rare. Right yeah, yeah. Pe people really like the the smaller. Some people like the smaller steaks, especially if they're not eating like a pound, two pounds of meat at once. Yeah, if, yeah. If you're not getting all your calories from beef, it's nice to have a five ounce steak. Yeah, exactly. A one pound steak. So Adam kind of gave you the gist of it. The Amish are not easy to work with. That's a bit of an understatement. You know, they want a lot of money for their product. They don't communicate via phone. They want all their friends, all their community involved, so there's not just like one pickup site for the product. So realistically, we would have to do it ourselves, which you know puts it way down the line. And the problem is, from a monetary perspective, most of our sales are meat right now, so we don't want to really invest or allocate any you know funds or loans or resources to just getting dairy and eggs. We want to do the meat products first, the charcuterie, the sausage, the hot dogs, bacon, have more control over our beef, pork, and chicken selection. You know, right now we have quite a few different cuts of beef, but you know, we don't have complete control over what pork and chicken we're offering, you know, from the variety of cuts to the quality of feed, to offering organs, to doing the value-added products. So having the slaughterhouse, having a meat processing operation on a larger scale is what we need to do first. And then shortly thereafter, we can do the dairy and the eggs ourselves. And I don't even know if I'm gonna do raw dairy. I might just do high quality dairy uh, just to not run into any legal issues initially because you can't even get that. You know, I said earlier in this video, you know, why run before you can walk? And that's the same thing. You know, raw dairy is a giant leap compared to what the average person has access to. So we definitely want to do that. You know, slaughterhouse, farm, dairy, eggs, all that stuff's definitely on the back burner. I'll keep you guys updated over uh, the next month or two, uh, just so you guys have an idea of what's going on. And you guys could check out the First Light Wagyu we do have available. I'm trying to get more of the venison, uh, but we do have some pretty good deals on that right now. Uh, so frankiesrangemeat.com, uh, if you guys could please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week. And if you guys do want to support me further, check out everything else on frank-stefano.com. Thanks again for joining me, guys. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, what else you want me to show you, and I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.